Hello and welcome to the tutorial for how to use scalloped lace on the S9478. This is a recent kit that uh, is in the web shop and it uses a scalloped lace for the bralette cups as well as the front frame. The back band is a mesh um, and for the center front neckline as well as the bottom of the frame, it features a scalloped lace edging. This tutorial is similar to the tutorial on how to use scalp lace for the Barrett bralette. So if you watch that or you've made that uh, variation of the Barrett, very similar, um, pretty much actually the same. But instead of referring you to that tutorial, I decided to do a just a whole tutorial just for this kit. Good news is that it only takes one pattern alteration. I know many people get very tripped up and nervous and anxious when they have to do pattern alterations. It is a breeze. Um, so you will see once I do it. Um, I'm gonna walk you through the pattern alterations and then I'm not gonna sew every single step. I'm just gonna walk you through the construction because there's only really one step to one or two steps that are different and that's it. So I totally have faith that you could do it. Um, so yeah, so let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to adjust the pattern for the, uh, to account for the scalp lace along the neckline. And one thing I want you to notice is that the scalp lace pretty much comes up to the uh, strap point where you fold it around the ring. Uh, so let's look at that piece really quickly. Oh, before I get to that, I will also be showing you because this kit also, uh, there's also a panty kit for how to use scalp lace on the panty. So I'll also show you how to, um, the sewing changes for doing a scalp lace on the panty. Okay, so let's look at the center front cup. So you have the center front cup and you have the side cup. I'm making a medium uh, AB cup just because these pattern pieces are small, they fit on the camera. Um, so, but just to show you, these are the other two pieces. We won't be dealing with that yet. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark the strap point, which is about half of an inch, five eighths of an inch down from the top edge. Then I'm gonna mark my seam allowances, which are a quarter of an inch. Okay. So, I am going to, first thing that I'm gonna do is I am going to put up my ruler and it's basically, oh, let me get my sheet of paper. So I have my ruler and it is a at the center front edge at the bottom. It's about a quarter of an inch past the edge of the pattern. And then it's a straight line up to pretty much the strap point. That is going to be my new center front line. Now you might be asking, why did you go a half of it or a quarter of an inch past the edge on the center front? And that is because the pattern was drafted to account for a quarter of an inch of the decorative Pico elastic. So here is an example. So there is a quarter of an inch right there that accounts for the Pico edge. Now we don't have that when we have the scalp lace. So we have to add that back. So that's why I added it back. Okay. So now I'm gonna redraw my cup curve. A 
And this is going to be my new center front pattern piece. Now, let's look at the lace. You want to make sure when you're cutting it out, what you do is you want that center front, the top of the scallop, to be hitting right at the center front, about a quarter of an inch up because you want to account for uh, the seam allowance. So you want that high point of the scallop to hit right at the seam line, not at the edge of the pattern, but the seam line, as well as up here. Um, yeah, okay, yeah, that's it. So when you're sewing it, you don't have to make, good, good news is that you don't have to make any changes to the side cup. The only change that you might have to make is to add just a little bit at the strap point because you're gonna sew the pico elastic along this edge then you're gonna flip it back. Since it's not being attached to the center front cup, it's basically gonna be nothing there. So you see here, so you wanna have enough that you can flip the elastic back and there's still some fabric to flip it back. So that's the only change. If you're using 3 eighths of an inch Pico elastic, just regular, you'll be fine. If you're using like a half of an inch elastic, you might wanna add a little bit more to account for that. But I'm gonna leave that pattern alteration up to you. So when you sew it, when you go to sew the cups, what you're gonna do is you are going to, as you can see here, all I did was I laid the, the elastic flat so that the flat edge of the elastic was aligned with the low point of the scallop. And then I just did a wide zigzag all the way down. So I did that, I attached the elastic, and then I sewed the center front cup to the side cup and then proceeded with the directions as per usual, um, or as instructed. And that was, that was, the, only, that was the only change. Um, okay, so that is the only pattern alteration. Now the only other thing that you will want to account for is, or you'll want to watch when you're cutting it out, is that the bottom edge of the frame is a scalped lace, and the back band is finished with Pico Elastic. So when you lay the frame, together, so you want to you want to make sure that the side seams are going to line up, which they don't. Um, so you want to, these are two different sizes, that's why, this is an extra, this is a small, this is a medium. So that's why they don't match up, but I'm just showing you. So you wanna make sure because you're gonna finish your back band with Pico Elastic. So there has to be, the bottom edge has to be a quarter of an inch longer because it's gonna be flipped up than the center front edge. So essentially, if you line these up, you want your back band to be a quarter of an inch longer so that when you finish it, it will be the same, or at the same height as the bottom edge of the bra, which features the scalloped lace. Now what you could do is you could do it, you could line it up with the low point of the scallop, the bottom edge, but I don't suggest that. Um, 
So that is the only, you might have to, but if you are using, I say that, that you might not have to do that because you might want to use the scalp lace edge on the back band. So if you're using the mesh for the back band, you'll have to add a quarter of an inch uh, to the bottom edge of the back band to account for it being finished with Pico Elastic. If you are doing um, the scalp lace on both of them, you don't have to do it. And then you finish it the same way that you finish the uh, edge of the bra cups. So you'll finish the back band separately, the bottom of the back band separately, and then you'll finish the bottom edge of the frame. You'll lay the elastic flat. We had the Pico facing in towards the fabric and the flat edge of the elastic against the flat edge or um, aligned with the low point of the scalp. And then we just use a wide zigzag stitch. So those are the only changes, that, that, that's it. I am hoping that after you're watching this, you're like, oh yeah, I totally got this and I want a hot pink bra, uh, so let's do it. Let's buy the kit. Um, again, it's only small pattern alterations, just a tweak to the sewing and that is it. So I hope you enjoyed it. Of course, if you have any questions, you can always put them in the comments and I will do my best to answer them. All right, thank you. Okay, just kidding, not done. Uh, I forgot to do the panty, which I said I was gonna do. So the only change to the panty is that you instead of usually you would sew the side seams together sew the crotch seam but instead you are going to finish the top edge of the uh, front panty same way that you did on the bralette is that the flat edge is aligned with a low point of the scalp picos facing in wide zigzag once you do that then you attach it to the back and to the crotch and then you just proceed as normal you will have to also finish the top edge of the back panty uh, with two passes of elastic, just like normal how you would sew Pico elastic, um, and that's it. So to recap, you will finish the top edge of the front panty by setting the elastic flat. Then you will finish the top edge of the back panty by doing the two passes of elastic. Then you will attach them at the side seams, crotch seam, and then you'll sew the elastic at the leg openings. And that's it. Okay, so now I am done for real. Uh, yeah, thank you.